let's ask this question. Why is the word dinosaur not in the Bible? If we're talking about dinosaurs and we're going to make the case in this episode that dinosaurs and humans definitely live together. Yeah, they um, were made that same day, right? Yeah. The beast of the earth. Yeah. Let's, for instance, take of all the dinosaurs, let's think about, let's take our Brachiosaurus, Apatosaurus, Titanosaur, whatever number or name you want to pick. The long neck, long tailed living dinosaurs. They lived on what? Land. Yeah. And so Genesis one twenty five says they were created what day? Yeah, that, the same day. Day I mean, six, yeah, same yeah, day yeah, as man. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So in the garden, and people are like, oh, that's ridiculous. Really? God just spoke the universe into existence. And, and you're worried about whether he could walk next to a big animal? And besides all that, I mean, not all of them were big animals. No, that's right. Most of them were average size, like average size for animals today, like the size of a cow. I mean, yeah. that's a big animal. Mm -hmm. You know, that's still... I mean, a, a cow and a bull will do some serious damage. They'll kill you if they <laughs> yeah. trample you. Yeah. So they're still big. Yeah. But we're not talking about, you know, the vast majority of them walking around being giants compared to us. Yes, there were very large ones. Mm -hmm. But even the large long necks, you're talking, I mean, it's big. But to put it in perspective, what, like maybe four elephants in four, size? Four, five, six. I don't really something know. Something like that. Exactly. Which is big. Yeah. But it's not like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it's not unbelievably yeah. big. It's still smaller than a blue whale big. Yeah. And somebody would be like, what about a velociraptor? How could people live with that thing? It's like, have you seen a lion before? Yeah. Like, do you want to be in the same room with a lion? No. I mean, we took my little daughter to the Memphis Zoo for the first time. And the, I don't want to get anywhere near those tigers <laughs> or those lions, right? Yeah. But do people kill lions? They today? do. They yeah. fight them. I mean, they do. we've had to. Hyenas, other pack animals. Did you say even? we've had to? Man, uh, mankind? Uh, yeah, we generally. <laughs> so fought lions. Like, like we've had to. I'm like, you fought lions? Not, not us. <laughs> okay. Um, Humans. Yeah, yeah. Not, today, not us. Uh, try to be a little rugged. Not quite that rugged. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, no, mankind. Yep. You know, we've dealt with those predators. Yeah. And we know that and accept that. And we see videos of that. And, mm -hmm. and people... Um, People still do with that yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Over in Africa and Asia and places yeah. where there are tigers. Yeah. So it's not, why is it a stretch? Because yeah. one was more reptilian than the other. Yeah. I mean, yeah. people deal with crocodiles. That's right. Mm -hmm. Steve Irwin, I mean, he used to wrestle them. Yeah. And they never got him. You yeah. Know? So, um, okay, let's look at, so the word dinosaur. Somebody would say, well, hey, the word dinosaur is not in my Bible. And I would say, well, okay, you're right. The word dinosaur mm -hmm. is not, but um, neither are lots of other animals. Yeah. I mean, you don't hear about a cat no. or a monkey. Yeah. The duckbell platypus. No, that's right. It's what Kyle said, I think. Yeah, I, think so. I mean, that's you think cat. about it, like Kyle and some of the AP videos, they said the Bible doesn't talk about the duckbill platypus. Does that mean it didn't exist? No. The Bible's purpose is not what? To uh, list every animal? Taxonomy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not a taxonomical or whatever. The, it's not a biology textbook to say, okay, this is the zoological record of every animal that ever mm -hmm. lived. The purpose of the Bible is to tell you that God made man, man sinned in the garden, God had a plan to redeem mankind, save us from sin, and that came through Jesus Christ. That's yeah. the point of the Bible. Yeah. So, like you said, you know, you mentioned cat, right? Mm -hmm. That's a common animal. Yeah. I mean, but the Bible doesn't reference it. I mean, the Bible referenced lions, but it doesn't reference cat. It doesn't reference, I don't think it references elephants anywhere. It shouldn't be our be all end all. Like, it didn't reference it, so it couldn't be true. Because, no. I mean, you can argue so many little things. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then, yeah, I don't okay. think I've ever read about a mosquito either, and we've got plenty of those. No, there were plagues, and there weren't <laughs> mosquitoes in those plagues, yeah. you know. So, so, okay, but let's talk about the word dinosaur, right? Why, let's take the King James. King James started being translated, you know, 1611, although no one has a 1611. that had so many revisions. Yeah, it was like the first edition or something. Yeah, like yeah, that, right? I mean, there's lots of revisions after. So let's say you have like an early King James Bible. We won't even talk about which revision, but why doesn't it say dinosaur? Because the word wasn't invented until yeah. 1841. Yeah. The word like, dinosaur didn't exist. Yeah. That it's makes like, sense. It's like, why don't you read about Facebook in your Bible? Yeah. Facebook didn't exist yeah. when the New Testament was written. <laughs> and when we look at the word dinosaur, you said it was 1841? Yeah. Do you want, do you know like the um, information about the story of it? Um, no, you, you go ahead. So, um, Kyle talks about it in one of the lessons. It'll be in the link tree, the, the podcast resource page you can watch. But it was like in 1820s, this guy Gideon Mantell found a bunch of fossil teeth, and they were like iguana teeth, but they were 20 times bigger. So it was called, he called it iguanodon because it was iguana teeth, but bigger, right? Mm -hmm. And they kept finding more fossils. In 1841, um, Richard Owen, Sir Richard Owen, coined the term dinosaurs, which means like fearfully great, terrible, terribly great lizard, right? It's interesting that that same guy, um, Richard Owens, before that, he was dealing with fossils um, in like museums. 
in an 1830s, there's something called ichthyosaur, which is a dinosaur. You can Google it if you don't know what it is, but it's like I C H T Y S something like that. Look it up. Yeah. Look it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Google will help you. Ichthyosaur yeah. in the 1830s, 10 years, or whatever, before he coins this term, he's putting fossils in museums of what we would call dinosaurs. And he's calling them sea dragons, S E A dash D R A G sea drag is what he had on the thing, which meant he was calling them sea dragons, right? So the question is not, why don't, why isn't the word dinosaur not in your Bible? The answer is, well, because the word didn't exist yet. And Mm -hmm. so the word dragon is coined. And if you go back and look, I mentioned this earlier, even like early paleontologists classified plesiosaurs, like in the water, the long neck dinosaurs that are in the water that swim, it it classified them as Gedalim tannin, which is Genesis 1, 21's terms. Gedalim means great and tannin. I think I said, did I already say that already? Tannin, tannin yeah. is yeah. the plural. Yeah. Okay. means great sea monsters. So all these people mm-hmm. in the 1700s, 1800s, even like the father of geology said that fossils were organisms that died not over millions of years, but during Noah's flood. So it's not like all of human history has thought, oh, wow, these are millions of years. No, it's literally just the last few hundred years when the theory of evolution is created. And then they try to say, oh, this evidence must point, and they have to explain the evidence away with evolution. So the word dinosaur didn't exist. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Authentic Christian Podcast. This podcast is sponsored by the Gospel Broadcasting Network, or GBN for short. You can hop on the App Store, search Gospel Broadcasting Network, and you can download the app. And there's this show, many other great shows that you can watch or listen to. Start learning more about the Bible and uh, why we're here, what our purpose is.